Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy state contents. So basically what it means is, um, for example, if we select countries here, it will change in both of these charts um, and both of these current selections boxes. So what we want to do is we want to create a new alternate state for this section, a separate al alternate state for this section. But then what we want to do is, if we make selections, it won't affect these, but what we want to do is, when we make selections in these list boxes here, which is month, year, year, month, country, and city, we then want to copy those selections and have them applied on um, for each different alternate state. So for example, at the moment if we make a selection, we can then select cities and the list box selections will apply to both. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, two alternate states. I'm going to add S1 and S2. Click OK. This should already apply to yes, alternate state S1. Alternate state S2. Um, we won't come to that yet. In the current selections, we'll see S1, S2, and then to clear the selections, we want to add clear all, and then S1, and the same here, but for S2. So add clear all, S2. So now we make a selection in this chart. You can see we've selected 10 of 21 countries, which are these 10 here, and we can then make a separate selection that will not be affected by this one here. And again, we can select a country in this list box and a particular city, and say December December 2005, and it will not affect those. But what if we do want uh, the selections we make in our list boxes to affect each alternate state? What we can do is we can go into the copy state contents. We can add an action, which is a selection, copy state contents, click OK, and the target state is S1. So this these selections over here, now when we click this button, it should change this selection here and this current selection box to what we selected in these default state list boxes. So there we uh, copied that state. As you can see now we've got Austria um, and then it shows that we've selected December 2005 and the city of Graz. So again we can do the same, we can select say Canada, choose Vancouver and copy, uh, we need to go in and say add copy state contents and say S2. Now if we click this button the selection two and the current selections two will, will apply to Canada, Vancouver and December 2005. That's pretty much it. Again, select some countries, select some different countries and make your selection. This will then clear that particular selection. You can create, uh, choose different countries, select those countries, CE, and again you can you can keep doing that. So that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. I hope that helps on how to use uh, copy state contents in ClickView. I'll see you next video. Cheers.